A CS2 update is here and it's actually a pretty big one. And there's some hidden stuff not in the patch notes, so stay tuned. But for starters, you've now got CL underscore right hand zero back in the game, so you could play with your left hand. Absolutely crucial update in the game. I have no idea how this took seven months to do, but it is a bit different because every time you switch your hand, for whatever reason, you get the weapon animation again. So you can't just switch, like if, if you're in the middle of a spray, you can't just switch your other hand. For some reason, it retakes out the weapon and you have to go through the whole animation. So hopefully that changes, but either way, more importantly, regarding what's hidden and not in the patch notes, VAC will now flag a regular gameplay and canceled the match as this was found by Thor. It is an official thing in the game files now, but it wasn't included in patch notes, so we'll see how well it actually translates into the game. I'd like to think this is going to get rid of spin botters, which seem to be the worst cheaters in CS2 right now. There is, there, like, any time you run into a cheater, at least for me, it's been a spin botter. So you'd like to think that's going to be flagged as regular immediately, but. We'll have to wait and see. Either way, it's good to see that actually updated. But if you have a bunch of junk in your inventory, Skins Monkey is a great place to get rid of it. Not only do you get a free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up with that link in the description, you can also get a 35% deposit bonus while depositing with cash, crypto, or any of the other methods. And even if you don't want to trade, they have free daily giveaways to enter as well. Thanks to Skins Monkey for sponsoring. Once again, link in the description. Note, this is followed up with the fact that the Overwatch system is back in CS2 for trusted partners. So I assume they're not 100% confident in their system yet, but it's good to see. Hopefully it's very close to being able to ban cheaters confidently, I hope. And if not, at least the Overwatch system is back in the game to get people banned because, I mean, once again, spin botters seem to be the main issue right now. Now, another big thing is Overpass is removed from the competitive and premier map pool and replaced with Dust 2, which is a very, very strange decision, but I kind of understand it. It's followed up with some changes to Inferno, so obviously they want to keep that map in the pool and fix it instead of just removing it. But Dust 2 being back in the pool is interesting for sure, especially since I think Overpass played completely fine. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with the map fundamentally. I personally hate the way Inferno plays, but maybe after this update and future updates, it'll play better. But off this update, they just removed overhanging building at the top of mid, overhangs at the bottom of banana, and just various map tweaks overall. So I guess they're just trying to fix everything up, but I mean, it's just an odd decision. Let me know what you guys think about that one. Beyond that, there is just some small stuff. Your movement with the Zeus is now quicker and they adjusted the attack cone. They increased the kill reward to $100 as well, increased the CZ kill reward to $300 and lowered the XM kill reward from $900 to $600, which I think makes sense because the XM is a pretty good weapon. There's also now a kill icon for mid-air kills in the kill feed, which looks pretty sick and is a great way to even tilt your opponents more, I guess. But they also added a grenade lineup reticle that appears after pulling the pin. It's a couple seconds after you pull the pin, and you can independently change the timing for each grenade, which is very interesting. I guess it does help with lineups, but it definitely takes some getting used to because it covers your entire screen. There is also now a dropped weapons panel, which shows weapons that have been dropped by teammates that are standing in the buy zone. And they added the minimum amount of money that a player is guaranteed to have, Going into the next round, so if you're bad at quick math, that is all available at just a quick glance now. And finally, we do of course have the 75% off sale for Copenhagen stickers, but for now, that wraps it up for this update. Hopefully cheaters are going to be handled a lot better, and of course, check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus on your first trade with that link at the top of the description. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.